uh, Michael Van Gerwen. He plays a game that I like. I play a game he likes, you know. Get on with it and uh, see what happens, you know. I think Wayne the other week says that I was a liar because I said I like playing Michael. I've said it for years, you know. I'll stand and play Michael seven days a week. How much are you looking forward to this? Yeah, of course. Uh, I'm looking forward to a good game like this. Uh, me and Gary are also phenomenal games and you want to perform well against each other and uh, I need to make sure I'm uh, prepared well for this one. We just play, you know, he likes to smash me up and I love to smash him up, you know, and that's where we go. I mean, we get on great, we do have our fallouts, you know, we do have our, our niggles and our our uh, handbags at 10 paces, but, uh, you know, we sort that out and we, we get back onto it, you know, but, you know, we, we go out there to, to actually destroy each other, so hopefully it's not tonight in his favour. Do you bring out the best in each other, do you think? Uh, not always. Sometimes we also <laughs> get up the, the worst in each other. You know what I mean? Because there's so much tense in this game, so much we won't. We both want to win so hard that makes it even difficulter. But I feel good and I have to perform well. Simple. And how close are you to World Championship winning form now? I don't know. I'll tell you in January the fourth or whenever <laughs> it finishes. Uh, first. Uh, now nah, we'll see. You know, it's a good few weeks now that it starts. I'm going to be busy, so we will we'll, we'll be putting a lot of time in and. Uh, We'll see what happens then. Down the years, this has been a very important title for you, hasn't it? It's, it's sitting in, in as it does at the end of November with the Worlds. You've won it three times. It's a very important. Yeah, of course it's important. I need to make sure I do the right things at the right moment. And uh, whatever tournament it is, this or the... But now, because it's close to the World Championship, you want to give yourself some good confidence and uh, you want to play well over here to, to bring up to the World Championships. And uh, that's why I like to win this tournament. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Who will play Daryl Gurney in the final? We are about to find out as the Professional Dance Corporation proudly present the second semi-final of the Labrooks Players Championship Finals. Coming to you from the amazing Butlins Minehead! We are live on ITV Sport as we welcome the millions of viewers joining us around the world. It's time to meet the players. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the world number one. The reigning and defending three times players championship finals winner and a two time champion of the world. Mighty Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the World Match Play and the UK Open. He's a two-time Premier League champion and a two-time back-to-back -back champion at the World. To this arena in Minehead. They are all into quite a treat. The energy levels always so high when these two play. And to talk us through it, Chris Mason and John Rawling. And to say that we've been looking forward to this, Jackie, 
is a monumental understatement. Well, this is going to be special. I've never done a big fight, but the atmosphere, well, you've done thousands, and this is exactly what I imagine it must be like. Well, I think by common consent, the best two players in the world right now, and on recent form, this guy is under a little bit of pressure because last week at the Grand Slam of Darts, it was victory for Gary Anderson. Michael van Gerwen has had a pretty easy ride to this stage of the tournament. Gary Anderson, well, certainly statistically, on the basis of what we've seen in his matches so far, he looks Thank as though he's the form man. Yeah, MVG not First played anyone inside the top 50 as of yet. And, of course, we met, as you said, just over a week ago, and it was Anderson that got the better of MVG on that occasion. He won 16-12 and had five ton-plus finishes. Also had a beat, had a win in front of the television cameras uh, against Michael, 10-9, in the group stage of the Champions League. Yep. We've been talking about this one for a few hours, and we both agree that Anderson genuinely enjoys playing Michael. I don't think that's reciprocated. Well, in those interviews beforehand, I mean, we only saw little edited highlights of them you know i was i saw some of the well uh, at length if you like and i certainly think that gary what looked longer? the more relaxed michael looks really really keyed up yeah yeah he's hyped this is gonna have some twists and turns along the way well, you can guarantee that but i will be amazed if it doesn't fail to deliver I think it's important who gets the good start, you know, Chris, because they're both such good front runners. Well, if you look, well, exactly that. You look at the matches just just in this event. As soon as they've started to stretch their legs in each of their matches, they've gone on long streaks and put six to eight legs together. Treble 19 is looking. Well, he'd have had that, he'd have had double 16, but now... Well, an outside chance for Michael van Gerwen. 148, treble 20, he's missed it. Yeah, back comes Anderson. Tops for an opening hold. And they were both will have settled by now. And that will certainly have settled Carry Anderson down. Interesting to see where the loyalties of the crowd lie with this one because uh, Gary, such a popular player, but Michael van Gerben as well always has his army of support wherever he turns out. And Gary just lives just up the road, doesn't he, on, in Burnham on Sea with, with Rachel and the kids. So. He brings a lot of local support down to this one as well. I think uh, a lot of fans 100. would have liked to have seen him win in Wolverhampton. It didn't happen. We were up there, Chris, up in Blackpool during the summer when he won the world match play. I mean, it was a, a phenomenal atmosphere and the reaction of the crowd to Anderson was huge. Well, it's a there's a lot of Scottish people up in Blackpool, isn't there? And they, they come down and support their man but that match that we well we did it where it involved the nine darter and the oh, that's one the, the game against Jim, joe cullen was just exceptional could be a break on here chris look at this that uh, did that big hit there rattled van girl it looked like it certainly did trouble 20 double 19. <laughs> <That's a rattle anybody. laughs> 11 darter have some of that is what he's saying to his opponent. Wherever you're sitting, whatever you're doing, wherever you're following this, for goodness sake, don't go and do anything else, because this is going to be <laughs> sensational. <laughs> I just feel it. I think we're going to see something very special tonight. Not many sporting occasions give, uh, give me goosebumps, but this is certainly one of them. Anderson started brilliantly. The crowd right with him. Oh, he's disappointed to have missed that one. <laughs> So are we. The nine was on briefly. He's in the zone right now, and Michael van Gerwen has got to dig in and has got to respond. And this is the kind of match that will produce the nine, John. Perfect tempo for both. Well, he's not in bad position here, Gary, because even a 180 from Michael leaves no finish. Frustrated there, he blocked his route into the treble 20, didn't he? And he had to come across for 18. Poor Couldn't leg. find the treble, so 144. Might no. not be very poor if he takes this out. <laughs> well, more, more of a poor leg for, for Michael. 
He's uh, thrown nine darts. Nice. He's not even halfway through the leg. And this will this will bother him, won't it? Well, we said you know, a matter of what, seconds ago, I and mean, it goes so quickly. It goes so quickly, but so important that he gets a good start. Tops then, and he's got that good start. 3 0. And Gary Anderson's averaging close to 110. Michael Van Gerwen, 86. 16, 11, and 14. He's opening three legs here, Anderson. The flying Scotsman is more like the bullet train. <laughs> he's in there again. Another great start to the leg. Look at the difference between the two. Van Gerwen, we know, can post stratospheric numbers, but he's going to have to get there quick. Gary Anderson is just constantly putting him under it. Chance going up for Gary Anderson, can't find the treble yet here. And now perhaps a chance for Van Gerwen at last to get into the match. A little bit of breathing space, certainly now. 140. Tremendous leg, turn 141-40 for Michael Van Gerwen. Van Gerwen still holds that world number one ranking, 121 here. So treble 13, he was looking for double 16, but just setting it up with the 18 and time on his side. Ultimately, Gary holds, and he'll go into that first break with a 4-1 lead. And in a race to 11, he's not far off being halfway there. Good dart, he's in. Michael Van Gerwen's fans in the audience celebrate. Green machines on it. Both of them with perfect checkout stats at the moment. Gary Anderson, three out of three. Van Gerwen, just the one perfect. And there's his first maximum. Would Daryl Gurney be watching? Or <laughs> I hope not. Be well advised just to go and do. Uh, yeah, I would. Would, Although, you, would you be watching? Yeah, yeah, he won't. Listen, he's he's beaten nice. these guys before. He knows how to beat him. He knows what he's up against. And listen, there's no if, if you're averaging 101 and your opponent's averaging 110, it doesn't matter. It's the same visits to the board. So, you know, we know we know Daryl Gurney can produce the numbers to compete with either of these two. Yeah, he's very solid against Danny Mott, Benny, Danny Mott, Noppets, wasn't he? I can almost yeah. say it. <laughs> it was uh, a solid performance. 100, Michael Bar 85. He was rock solid against Dovey, wasn't he? For the break of throw. 60, Gary Lepar 100. So is it going to be 4 1? Yeah, it should be 4 17s and tops. That's the way he likes to go. Another a treble for tops. Okay, mm. so well, we could be. Back on throw. Great chance for Van Gerwen. Look as though it was going to end up this way, but it could do now. Double eight and does. Van Gerwen breaks back. And so they go to the first little interval with it back on throw. Gary Anderson, the bigger numbers, he's averaging 106 against Van Gerwen's 96. Anderson, though, yielding that break in the final leg before the interval and leaves the stage leading 3-2. Final later tonight, all eyes on the stage, the 5,000 strong crowd watching Michael Van Gerwen and Gary Anderson. And what an important break that was just before the interval. Van Six Gerwen times, hitting Gerwen back, well, keeps him in touch. 4 1. Could have to fear that Michael would get started again, trounced. He's still nearly 10 points behind in the averages, but the key, if it remains like this, 99. then Michael will always be that throw behind, and his throw will constantly be under pressure. That's why we mentioned averages. 45. It means a lot. It gives, you a, it gives you a look into the dynamics of how this match will play out. Won it the last three times it's been played, the Players' Championship Finals. 100. Michael Van Gerwen, you have to go back to 2014 in a match against Terry Jenkins for his last defeat. Second round, something like that. 114. 
that Terry's watching now. Probably thinking, he's probably nodding away and thinking, yeah, I could still do it now as yeah. well. 92. Absolutely. Who's going to come back and win this opening leg? This is going to aid Michael's chances. 76, a good leave. Nothing in it. Van Gerwen, the first attempt. Great darts, double eight. Oh, beautifully done. A 14 dart leg and back on level terms. Yeah, three out of four on his doubles now, Michael. 75%. It's more like it from Anderson. Maximum number two. I saw a fellow earlier on wearing an MVG shirt with a Scotland coloured flag bearing the name of Gary Anderson. I seen one earlier. Someone actually just sent me a, a tweet with a, a guy with a Gary Anderson, um, uh, sorry, a Michael Van Gerwen shirt and a Gary Anderson scarf. Couldn't quite make his mind up. No, a bit like us, we support them both. Yeah, and I, you know, well, you, can, you can make a, a great argument for either man from here on. It's absolutely on a knife edge. Brilliant. Yeah, super shot 139. to leave 170. Trouble 19, double 18. 12 darts. Hello, 12 darts. 113. He's had a 16 darts, an 11 darts, and a 14 darts. Now a 12 darts. A goodness me. All we want is that nine from either. He's in the sort of frame of mind you sense, and Michael Van Gerwen's not too far behind him. And Michael Van, Van Gerwen's average goes over the hundred for the very first time in this contest. Anderson close to 110. And we um, know he can hold that because he's already done it in this tournament. 110 and Addy. <laughs> With interest. And remember, Van Gerwen had throw in this leg. Anderson's wrestled that off of him. And a great setup. It's getting silly now, this, isn't it? This is starting to look like what we've been hoping for, Chris. 44 required. Tops. Tens for a 12 dart up. He's missed one. Michael Carr, 149. Well, he will be holding his breath right now. <laughs> Nothing is safe when MVG is behind you. Double five. This is a big dart. And a big dart missed. First key moment of the contest. This is in. Oh. Well, I am astonished at that. Perfect marker. You'd have put a bit of money on that yep. one. Sailing in. Well, five in bits. Double one. Yes, he gets away with it, and most importantly, gets the break, 5-3 Anderson. What a strange leg. I still can't quite believe that Michael missed that double toss. Well, it appeared all he had to do was just follow that previous start, and it would have bumped in off of it. It's unlike him. This is more like the man we know. 139. There is a, you know, a body of thought. You just kind of have to say it a bit carefully when you're in earshot <laughs> of uh, MVG that his game is maybe not quite where it was 12 months ago. Well, his scoring power is is is, is still the same. But for me, he's looked vulnerable on the doubles, and that's cost him dearly. This, especially this year, that's why he's lost so many so many matches. I know Alan's, uh, Alan Warren a little thoughts on this, so that the, it's as much as anything a case of the rest of the field moving their game on and getting closer to him well, every time he plays. Well, he's getting punished. Where before he, he had that cushion all the time, where the other players now are, are always there or thereabouts. Double six. 
Ooh. could be costly. Looked like Van Gerwen was heading for a break. Now Anderson, a great chance to go 6-3. Tops. It's a bit high. Yeah, it just blocked it slightly, hasn't it? Yeah, he had to move, change the angle of entry. This time, yeah. And that's what we expected at the, in the previous leg when he wanted the tops just to run down the side of the previous dart. So another break back. So two breaks to throw back on serve. Two breaks to throw each, should I say? And a break in play at the end of this leg. Six four or five all. It hasn't disappointed, has it, John? No. We're only just about halfway through. We've still got no better idea as to who's going to win it than the what first dart. <laughs> it's that sort of match. Yeah, them sort of players, they're so capable of just going through the gears. 135. And we've seen it off of both of them, that ability to just hit the afterburner and, and kick. Well, Van Gerwen's on a finish. Anderson looking to be likewise after this visit. Badly needs a big treble now. He's missed it. it. Should be five all then. Double eight. 71. Anderson, 172. No oh. finish for him, paying the penalty for that loose last visit. Effectively now, the best of 11, Johnny. MVG converts. And he has done. And it is absolutely perfectly poised. Anderson averaging 104, Van Gerwen 99. Their checkout percentage is pretty much identical. And the score absolutely level. It is five apiece and all to play for. Excellent match here, as we'd anticipated. Michael Van Gerwen and Gary Anderson locked at five legs apiece. They've been just peppering the big numbers on that board, perhaps to the extent that during that little break, they've actually had to replace the board. They have, yeah. They broke it already. You know, mention for our Eleven referee, five, Paul Hinks, doing an pass. incredible job Come considering the, the pace of this match. Flawless job. As ever, the best of referees in just about any sport are the ones you don't notice, and he's been immaculate to this point. Nice Spot sir. on. The darts hasn't been bad either. No, it's not shabby. <laughs> 114. I wonder, uh, I wonder what the odds makers would be making of this now. It is absolutely level. You're just waiting for either player to have that typical surge. 137. Seeing on here, he's nine darts to 90. 134. Got him to quite 90. He went treble 18 for double 18, and he's got it. An 11 darts. That'll do for a surge for you, won't it, Chris? Another one. He's second 11 darter, he's had a 12 darter, a 14 darter. Anderson is throwing great darts, averaging 107 nearly. Well, yeah, he had three, he was a, had a 3 0 lead, didn't he? And then that got pegged back. And again, we're just waiting for someone to create that little bit of a cushion. It's been MVG who's kind of been hanging on to him, hasn't he? Trying to sort of scrapping and making the most of opportunities when they've arisen. He's kind of been the one who's been counter-punching. Yeah, he's hanging on to his coattails, isn't he, at the moment? 134. It's good darts. Looking as though he's going to go level again, though, Van Gerwen. Because Gary Anderson, behind closed doors, got the first darts in this match. It's Van Gerwen who's having to react under pressure to hold his throw. Well, it looks like MVG 
We'll level things up. And now we're narrowing down to a best of nine. 58, Michael McGuire, 32. Double 16 for six all. Works in nicely. Good leg from Van Gerwen. And that is his fourth maximum of the night. As Rachel watching on, Gary's partner. Two kids uh, at home being looked after by Rachel's mum, I believe. Yep. Fifty-nine. Wonder if they've been. Uh, wonder if the older of the two has been allowed to stay up late to watch. I bet he has. Oh yes. Picking his own trophies up today. Ty, man of the match in the football. Ninety-eight. How old's he now? Must be about six or seven, isn't he? Oh no, he's not that old. Is he not? One hundred and thirty-eight. Getting across. Oh, both on one six-four. Six legs each. Treble 18 would leave Bullseye. He'll stay there for double 16. Oh. Well, second prize. Not bad. <laughs> he went the other route of 6 19's ball. So, so first, first go. 13 darts. This is just absolutely stunning and a pleasure to commentate on. The two guys said that they. Just love smashing each other, destroying each other. It's just like two technic technicians in the in the ring, just trading blows, and it's just a, it's just a pleasure to watch. Maybe a little bit of a chance here for Anderson, or there was before this. That's uh, that's Cancel. made a bit of a difference, hasn't it? Cancel that jump. For those averages and uh, heading northwards, they're going up. Fifty-eight. And we're in. To the 14th leg. A ton leaves one. Well, oh, that's one even better. Leaves 14. one, two, four. So we might see Anderson down on the 19s here. He making sure he there. gets, making oh. sure he gets on 170. Or oh, that was the idea. 18. Michael Carl, 124. Leaves tops. Well, that looks like seven Michael apiece then. Tops for MVG. Tens. Marker. Good dart. 15 data. And seven apiece. Still blow for blow. Another break after this leg. And then it will be played through to the eventual winner. First to 11, but now it's a best of seven. Break at the end of this leg, as you say, Chris. So is Gary Anderson would gonna love, hold? love to get out of this at eight, seven. 180. Fabulous darts, the grouping so close that you saw. Paul, the referee, have to lean in and check just, just where just they were. Just signs of, uh, of Gary beginning to feel this surge from Michael, this constant pressure. I tell you what, that is unlucky. 120. The point, if the point was touching the board, whatever area it was touching or whatever target it was touching, it would have counted. If that had been just touching that outer ball, board, that yep. would have counted, would yep. it? So six starts, one four four. For a break of throw, an 8-7 lead. Should be treble 18. Checking where he is. Oh, great dart. And there's nothing Gary can do about it. Is this a pivotal moment of the match, Fills I wonder? Up for, oh, I put, fill that up for double four. Double 16. There it is, it's the break of throw, and a big break of throw before the interval. That will make Michael Van Gerwen, his team and his followers feel a little bit happier. He leaves the stage, leading Gary Anderson with the break, 8-7.
in favour of the world number one and the defending champion Michael van Gerwen. For much of the match, Gary Anderson had looked the heavier scorer, looked as though he was the one setting the pace, but van Gerwen hung in there and for the first time as they come back from this break, he's ahead and Chris with a break. Yeah, and only three legs away for a place in that final against Daryl Gurney. And to win this event for the fourth time on the spin. 16 flag is Michael who threw first. He, looks the, he just looks the player that's on the front foot. The question now, as Anderson surged clear, Van Gerwen was able to claw his way back. Can Anderson now do likewise? Well, that's not a bad start. <laughs> that answers your question. Just such a great advert for our sport. Watching these two just up there trading big scores. No drama, just tungsten. No, no drama, no gamesmanship, just playing and just seeing who is the better man on the night. 101. Great thinking to leave 170. So a chance here for Gary, you could find a 140. Oh, oh unlucky. Terrible deflection. He has left a finish, albeit a big one. Now, is he going to do it? Not this time. So, 148, Chris. Ideal finish for someone like Gary. Two trouble 20s. Oh, again. Lost the line. Great recovery. So, 72 to hold his throw. Anderson poised if he makes a mess of it. Tops, one dart. And that's all it takes, and there's the reaction. And the first big reaction he knew, he knows how important that shot was. Gary nicely poised, waiting on double eight to break straight back. But it's Van Gerwen now, goes within two legs of a place in the final. 99. Darrell Gurney waiting to play the winner of this one. Don't forget, in between uh, the conclusion of this match and the final, it's the World Youth Final between Martin Schindler and Benito... Sorry, Dimitri Van Vandenberg, who is attempting to become the first player to retain that title. Chance for Anderson reverberating around the arena, but Van Gerwen's closing in. Oh, he can't find the treble though. So six darts from here for 154. A little bit of breathing space. Tops. 134. Just looking at the stats and just seeing if it's maybe Gary's finishing that's gone off the boil, but they're both exactly the same, 47%. Double five, that was an important dart, 9-8, Anderson still needs that break back though. The adrenaline would have been absolutely coursing through his veins there. Chance. He needs to start finding those 180s. Not often MBG is making a mistake during the scoring phase, but Here's two. Must it take must take advantage of these now, Anderson, to get back in this match. That's the one he's looking for. And another. 140. Crowd are rooting for him. Well, I just don't think they want it to end. A bit like us. Terrific game of darts. One out of all First going this way, then the other. And Anderson has a great chance of a break here, but that doesn't help. 87. Not on a finish. Oh, that's a low one. Must have been a slip. 87. <laughs> what a big dart that might turn out to be. 18 now to set up tops. So for Van Gerwen, 146 has got to be taken. Can't do it now, so Gary will come back. Another of those pivotal moments, Chris. The crowd know it. 
Tops for Anderson to go level, and he's done it. Oh. I hope you're feeling the atmosphere that's in the air, in the air here at the venue. It literally is, you could cut it with a knife. First to 11, it's 9 all. 43. No Furious mistake. with himself. Oh, he's left the door open now for, for, for Michael to counter punch, and he's done so. That's the wrong side of the wire. 16. Two yeah. bad visits. 43 and 60. He's given the throw straight back to Michael. He's absolutely loving it. Yeah. He's saying thanks for the presents. Yep. I'll use it. 59. That's like rugby union. An interception. He's running with the ball and going clear. And will be throwing in the next leg. Well, for the match. Three breaks of throw each in this match. Both averaging over 100. Double 16. And he's got it. He only needs one more now. And Gary needs to find something a little bit special. You think it have to be a minimum of a 12 dart leg. That was an 11 darter there from Michael Van Gerwen. We're getting a little bit boring now, those, John. We've got that so many in this match. That's a terrific start. Absolutely what he wanted. Well, he knows he just wants to close this match out. 143. Who's going to blink? Van Gerwen's been there so many times before. Back to back 140s. And the leg on throw to win this contest. Back to back one falters for Anderson. He's had 19 tournament victories this year, Michael Van Gerwen. And is he moving towards another final? 100. So Michael down to 1 2 1. Gary would love a 140. It's not well, coming. He's just like a trouble now. And that's it. That is a huge Michael miss, and Plus. surely now it's going to Van Gerwen. Six starts if he needs them. If he needs them. There it is, 121. A fine match over. And Michael Van Gerwen, the better man on the day, gets his revenge for that defeat in the Grand Slam semi final last week. This time, Van Gerwen is the winner. He comes through 11 9. Played in a great spirit that game. It was a pleasure to watch. Great one to commentate on. I hope you enjoyed it. It was special. And Michael Van Gerwen looking for his fourth consecutive title is into the final later on where he'll face Daryl Gurney.